chase the famous dog who is hiding a dark secret with this flashlight and we need to find the truth so help me solve this mystery so I first spotted this flashlight when I was on Polis. It was outside of the electrical room, and it was on the floor. At first, I thought it had to do with the tools, but the lights turned off, and it disappeared. Something strange was happening on Polis. My pet goose was really nervous. He was just going quack quack quack, but all I could do was scan my ID and hope for the best. I asked the crewmates, I found a flashlight, did anyone drop it? No response. But things got even stranger. I was walking to my next task, and the lights turned off once again. But there was a mysterious crewmate chasing me around. He then eliminated me, but then I saw the flashlight. So I flew closer to it, and it was right in front of me. So I tried to get near it, but then my game started to glitch. What just happened? That is when I knew I had the opportunity to summon Chase. Rumor has it that you can summon a secret version of Chase using this flashlight. Now that I have found it, I need to look for it again on the scale. This time it was an electrical. As you can see, this flashlight is pretty large. It must belong to a really big creature. One that can eliminate us all. But what is going on with the flashlight? It seems to be flashing. It's almost like it's coming to life. I wonder if Chase is nearby. Since this flashlight is connected to him, I could then hear barking. He is definitely near us. So I went into the storage unit. Nothing to be found yet. But what is that peeking down the hallway? It looks like the head of a creature. Could that be Chase? I couldn't really tell, but I was so scared. Who do you guys think it is? Let me know in the comments. After our meeting, I went down the hallway where I saw the creature. But there was nothing. It just vanished. But I found these lights. Could these lights be connected to Chase? Since the flashlight is connected to him, right? I did let the crewmates know that I found a flashlight. Just in case there is more information to be found. I did my wire task and then followed Lime. We both saw Grey do their medbase scan. Looks like we're with crewmates right now. So we should be safe in case Chase decides to appear. But what is that noise? It sounds like a dog. I looked down the hallway and I saw a creature. I am starting to believe that that could be Chase. The other crewmates were panicking. We were all really scared. I wonder if that could be him. I'm still not entirely sure though. A sabotage was called which forced me to run away. You guys know me, I would have went down that hallway. I'm totally joking by the way. Well, now that we fixed the sabotage, we can go look for this creature, right? Wrong, we don't know where he is. Gray is safe after all. Hmm, I have to do my shield task. I completed the task and then noticed something outside. Are the lights flashing? All four of them were doing it at the same time. Maybe it's sending some sort of alert. I think the summon has been completed after I found the flashlight and completed shields. Hopefully I don't regret summoning Chase. This time it was going to be different as the imposter. I went back to the hallway where I spotted Chase but he was nowhere to be found. Of course he decides to hide right now, right? But I made my way to storage and back to the shields area. I noticed that the lights were off, and I saw that yellow turned them on. Wait a minute, did this crewmate just summon Chase? Maybe I had a chance to escape, but Chase is on the case now. Okay, now I'm a bit nervous. Because if that was Chase, then he is huge. And I was 100% correct. Look at who I just found in the cafeteria. It was Chase. And if we take a closer look at his arm, it's the flashlight. So this flashlight did belong to Chase, and he turned it on. Look at how bright his flashlight is. I wonder what special abilities it may have, since it's so large. Chase wouldn't have it for no reason, but look at how scary he looks. One of his arms is robotic, and his legs. And look at those sharp teeth, and scary eyes. He seems to be made out of electricity. If we take a look at the tail, I wonder who created Chase. At least this version of him. 
I went back to shields in case I might have missed something. But this robotic chase is really scary. But I wasn't going to let him get away with this. As you guys can see right here, I got my own flashlight. Right on top of the storage bin. Yeah, you guys didn't think I'd have one? Maybe if I use it against Chase, I will be able to defeat him and save all of the crewmates. But we also haven't heard of Ryder. I wonder where he is. I checked the security cameras because I wanted to look for him. But then, I heard some barking. This is a good sign. I want to see what my flashlight could do. So I went to the hallway and I saw Chase. Chase looked really angry and he started to use this flashlight on me. My pet goose was also not scared. He was looking in all directions. I took out my flashlight and I used it against Chase. Now both of us were using flashlights against each other. But I was expecting something to happen. Chase seemed unaffected. Hmm, maybe it was a bit silly to think that a flashlight could do something against this creature. Do you guys have any other ideas on what I could do? If you said Polis, you were correct. I went over there because that's where I originally saw the flashlight. And to my surprise, I did find another one. It was buried in the snow. Okay, now that I found this flashlight, we know it's connected to Chase, so he has to be nearby, right? But then I made a discovery. The dark secret we have all been waiting for. Turns out Chase has been working with Ryder. Chase was right next to Ryder, but he looked very different. Ryder looked evil. Too evil. This Ryder had his hoodie on, but it had spikes. And Ryder looked really creepy. Robotic-like. Just like Chase. I wonder what these two robotic creatures could possibly be planning. I was then eliminated, and both of them stared at me. They seem to be very happy, but this is not over. Because the truth has been revealed on what these two creatures were up to. Chase and Ryder had the flashlight for a reason. They were not really looking for me. They were looking for two other people. Or should I say, dog. An owner. I checked cameras to see if I could spot them. And I heard barking coming from the cafeteria. That is when I knew for sure what was going on. Right in front of me I saw the evil Chase. And the evil Ryder. The two that looked like robots. And right behind me was Chase. And Ryder, I did not know that there was four of them in total, but there seems to be something happening between both sides. The flashlight was needed to find each other, and neither side seems to be friendly. Both sides were getting closer to each other. Who do you think will win? If you want to know what happens next, drop a like, and check out these other stories.